Well, you know what I always say. New Year, new me. Pam, it's the middle of August and you know it. Beware the man fire. Okay, go back to sleep. Hey man, you like internet cartoons? You like internet cartoons with waifus? You like internet cartoons with waifus and an absurdist sense of humor? Then check out Maids! It's only two episodes, but there's so much potential to be had with this absurd premise alone and lovable characters. It's about Pam, a happy-go-lucky green slime girl with one arm tail, and Flan, a fit and thick cynic. They're maids and they get into bizarre adventures. It's just an excuse for weird and funny stuff to happen, like a true cartoon. And it's all done by one guy too, which explains the lack of voice acting, but the Texas speech voices really give this cartoon an edge. What is taking you so long? The cops are gonna be on our asses any moment. I'm sorry, boss. It's just that this bozo in front of us won't get out of the fucking way. Not everything has to be super high production to be good, but don't take my word for it. Here's what these retards have to say. Mates is a true delight. To me, it seems like the reincarnation of the old-style Newgrounds classics, full of the type of humor that a person of any age could enjoy, from the youngest and energetic of kids to the most chill out of adults. I'd say the creator of these animations has a real eye and mind for these types of stories with these types of characters, and I also hope more and more of these episodes come out real soon. Hello, I am ShadeX, and I used to simp for a goth cartoon librarian, but now I simp for a tall green one-armed maid. Maids is a really, really good cartoon. I found the first episode to be very funny, but the second one won me over completely. Maids is absurdist web animation at its finest. I think that Flan and Pam are cute and funny characters. I really like the dynamic that Flan and Pam have. Flan is the more serious one, while Pam is the goofy one. I think the art style of this cartoon adds is great. I find it very impressive that one guy made this cartoon. I really like how Neck uses a variety of text-to-speech voices. At first I was surprised by this, but it makes sense as it is hard to get voice actors, especially when you are doing an independent web cartoon. I even recognized quite a few of the voices, as the voice of the getaway driver in the first short was used in the Garfield web series. I think that text-to-speech is a useful tool and that Neck uses it well. I really hope that Neck continues the series. I find this show very appealing. I love how cute the two leads are. They have very appealing designs. So appealing, in fact, that he has a big Twitter following because he draws very revealing art of the characters. What I love about what Neck is doing is that he isn't simply drawing his OCs. He has made two shorts featuring his characters, Flan and Pam, which I think is a huge accomplishment. I really think Neck should continue exploring the world of maids. The show may not be a very well-known series now, but I have a feeling it definitely will be. Anyway, I have a confession to make. I simp for both maids now. And once the series gets more viewers, Flynn and Pam will have more people simping for them. <laughs> maids has a lot of potential. I don't care whether Neck decides to use text-to-speech again or if he starts using voice actors. Whatever he does next will be great. Hi, I'm Mr. Nostalgia, fellow text-to-speech user and Zeke and Luther enthusiast. I also hold the state record for the most corn dogs consumed by a duck, but that's neither here or there. Look man, you make some cool stuff. And it's great to see another text-to-speech user on this interesting site we call YouTube. So keep up the good work. And keep using text-to-speech. Who knows, maybe one day our paths may cross again. Mr. Nostalgia, out. Hey man, we have another nigga that lost his passion alert. Another nigga that lost his passion alert. Hey, what's up, Nick? How you doing? You don't know me, but I, I know a lot about you. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I like what I see, but apparently you don't like what you see. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't like that very much. I'm starting to get really peeved by this little meme on social media of people self-deprecating themselves when they actually have talent to show. I've been touching my wee wee to this man's content for over a year now on a separate account because, you know, I, I, I can't like lose stuff on my main account. Yeah, I, I got kids on there. But from what I'm seeing, it seems as though your stress is all coming from the amount of likes or the amount of followers that you don't have. And success doesn't happen overnight. And I'm sure that you realize that, but you want it to happen a lot sooner. I used to be the same way, but I'm chilling at this point. I only have like 8,000 subscribers. However, I still treat all of my content the same way ever since I had zero subscribers. I ain't telling you to change your ways. Just food for thought. Keep doing what you're doing. I love the series maids. And if it abruptly stops because you ain't feeling it anymore, I'm going to come over there and beat your ass.
The reason I'm making this video is because the creator of these cartoons, Neck, has no faith in himself, even though he's a really skilled artist and animator. Yeah, he's no Disney, but he's no family guy either. He's got something special and funny here, and he thinks nobody likes him when, in fact, we like what he has so far, and we don't want to see him quit. I can get how hard it is to be invested in your project and feel like they suck because they barely get any attraction, or uh, life just gets in your way of everything. But you still have a lot of time left on this planet, and by god, you never know what might happen next. So this maids concept has a lot of potential, and I hope the creator sticks with it. He's made it this far, making two cartoons that make me want to crave more. So there's something inside just waiting to come out. So, uh, Neck, we all wish you the best of luck, and we believe in you. A. Men.